this is Kate. Sorry I missed your call. Um, leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye bye. Kate, can you bell me as soon as you get this, please? I'm really fucking freaking out here. Please just bell me. Need some fresh air too. <laughs> yeah, I needed to get away from all that racket as well, to be honest. Same. I wish I could go to a party where they play some decent music, like The Cure or something. I've literally been saying that for ages. I mean, like every party I go to, it's the same shit, you know. I just end up in the garden most of the night smoking to get away from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the same. Who are you? Oh, do you know Crystal? The girl today, my Yeah, yeah, that's her. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Who are you with? Oh, Gavin. So, do you not know Kieran then? Not really, to be honest, about here because Gavin dragged me. Same, like, I have been to too many parties for freshers now and they're just <laughs> all the same now, if I'm honest. Yeah. <sighs> Where about you from then? Have a guess. Well, with an accent like that, yeah. down south somewhere. Yeah, I'm from Croydon. Moved there when I was like three. Nice, nice. So, where are you from originally? Poland. Nice, nice. So can you like to speak Polish then? Yeah, I can. Go on, give us a demo. No. Go on, just a little bit. Don't put me on the spot. Just a little tiny bit, go on. Okay. Good no. Is that weird? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the one you can get away with the most, because when I first moved over here, I just walked around all the time saying, Good no, and never knew what the fuck I was on about. <laughs> So, what do you study? Music. What you? Creative writing. Oh, so you got the old lecture about how I was studying a proper degree then? Of course. Grandparents, was it? And the auntie and the uncle. So, are you in a band then? No, no, I, I mostly just like my own stuff. I was in a band when I was in school, but we went off to other things. It's a shame. So, do you do gigs and stuff? Mm hmm. I've actually got a gig next Saturday at the student bar. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's here if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. Can I bring Crystal? Yeah, of course. I didn't even say my name's Steve, by the way. <laughs> Kate. It's nice to meet you, Kate. Yeah, likewise. <clears throat> Do you uh, fancy getting a drink? Gavin will be thinking all left. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I need to check on Crystal anyway, make sure she's not stripping. Yeah, I should probably explain that. So, when Crystal drinks, she kind of turns into a nudist. Mm. Okay. <laughs> See you. Up later, there's something I want to talk to you about. Well, can't you just tell me now? No, I'd, I'd rather tell you in person. Is it serious? Well, kind of. No, not really. Look, can you meet me later or not? Well, what, what time? Half minute. Fucking signal in this room. Hello? Hi, hi, can you hear me? 
Paul, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry about that. Fucking signal in this room. What time do you want to meet? Um, half one at the ship, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, see you then. Bien. Bien. Vende eso esto por un tanque snitch. Tac. Jack Knight Tata. You sure you're okay? You look as white as a sheet. Yeah, I just I think I ate something dodgy last night. Probably just the nerves. Yeah, maybe. I was like, do you want a cup of tea? Oh, no thanks, love. I'm just on my way to work. Oh, how's work been? Same old shit. <laughs> Meant to be getting a raise soon though. Really? That's amazing. Yeah, it's not too bad. But made up beyond days, the nights were killing me off. Yeah, that's because you weren't allowed to go out on the piss. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> didn't stop me being on the piss in work though. Well, you better watch so they don't catch you. Oh, they didn't have a fucking clue. This is sad to see you go to the pub then. Yeah, Alfie looked like he was going to start crying. Bless him. You spoke to him yet? Yeah, I found him this morning. What did he say? He said to come meet me, so it's not till half one, so I've got time to carry on sorting my stuff out. Mm. I'll be honest, Kate, I, I just don't know why you need to tell him. Marielle said looks like a very scruffy bastard now as well. I don't know, I just... I feel like if it was the other way around, I'd want to know too, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Just promise me you won't let them talk you out of it. Crystal. No, Kate. Promise me. OK, I promise. Good. And if he tries to, make him beg for it, the bastard. <laughs> OK. I mean it, on his knees, girl. OK, I promise. Have a lovely time, love, OK? I will. I'm phoning me. <laughs> I will, I promise. Bye. Together or what? It's so funny. I like it. I like it. Uh, so he's got the flu. Sure. Yeah, she's gonna be in bed all day, I reckon. That's heavy, man. You let him work today? Not today. I've got two days off. Alright. Nice. Um, listen. So he wants me to have a word with you about something. What is it? Well, you know how our door's been stopped for a bit? Yeah. And like, you're great, we're paying those keep like, you know, I'll make you a fucking good after a bit better than one. I'm getting to it. It's just, well, we were wondering if you'll be able to work a few more hours so you can give us a bit more keep. Just fucking cliff spinning our backs about the rent and, well, we need to... Hang on. So just so we're on the same path with this, right? You want me to go to work to work more hours so that I get paid more, yeah? And the money that I earn, give to you and Zoe, who don't work, so you can pay Cliff because your fucking doll's been stopped. Yeah. Ian, 
I love you, mate, and I'm, I'm really grateful you've been letting me stay here. Uh, me and Zoe. No, but it's mostly you, innit? Look, mate, I'm really grateful that I mean this in the nicest possible way. You and Annie to get a fucking job. Come on, don't be like what that. What do you mean, don't be like that? You're expecting me to pay for your fucking house? Yeah, well, you're meant to be paying those people. I fucking pay, do you? pay, keep. All right, fucking stop shouting. You're gonna wake up. I don't up. care. I don't fucking care if I wake it up. Oh, do you know what? Pack it in now. Is there something else going on with you? Well? Oh, look, what is it? Okay, phone before. What did she want? Wants to meet up. Needs to tell me something, apparently. Well, couldn't she have told you over the phone? That's all I said. And well, what did she say? She said she needs to tell me in person. It's a bit weird, that, after two months. Isn't it? I thought she was in London, anyway. Nah, she only went for a few days. Hey, what if she's dying? For fuck's sake, Ian. Well, what? Don't say that. Well, what else could it be? Don't know. Oh, right, you haven't. What? You know. What, nah? No, no. We were dead careful, especially after all that. I know, mate, but... You know, you can never be too careful. I had this mate once, right, and he was seeing this girl. She was desperate to have kids, but, well, well he was having none of it. Anyway, she ends up pregnant with twins. Shit. And that's not even the worst part about it. Turns out one time before they had sex, she put it all in the condom on purpose. So now he's stuck with twins and a fucking psycho. So, you know, shit like that happens. You know what, mate? Thanks very much for making me feel better, yeah? I'm just saying you can never be too careful. I know. What time are you meeting her? Half one, she said. Well, um, listen, my mum and dad are coming round for the breakfast. Sounds. Bring an Auntie Jean and Uncle Mark too. Oh, you're joking. Well, I can't say no to my mum and dad, can I? Yeah, I suppose not. So, um, what are you cooking us? Kate? You alright? Hi, you okay? Oh, sorry, I'm late. I'm fucking. The bushes were on us, No, no, it's fine. It's not a very good start, is it? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to um, grab a drink? There's a pub on just around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? It's fine if I've been in now. I'm joking, I, I absolutely haven't. <laughs> just go wait now. So I choose to tell the sky and to live on eavesdrop on people's conversations like, that way we would be inspired to come up with a story or something. No way, that's mad. <laughs> Isn't it? What about them two? Who? Them two over there. Um, okay, just to the top of my head. The guy in the normal clothes wants a score, and the guy in the suits is dealer. You think? No, it's too simple. They're lovers. <laughs> Don't laugh. Sorry, I just love how you went from drug dealers to lovers. Well, you never know. I mean, look at the guy in the suit. Probably drives a nice Mercedes, nice ass, gorgeous wife, kids, the lot. <laughs> but he's got lover boy over there on the side, and now they're trying to figure out a way they can run off to Spain together. Maybe you shoot his right. I mean, you could definitely make a story out of that, couldn't you? No, it's not original enough, though, I don't think. You know what they say, every story's already been made before. It's, it's how you present it. That's true. How's your course going? Oh, no, all right, yeah, just been practicing for the gig on Saturday, so. You're looking forward to it? Should be good, yeah. You and Crystal still coming? This Saturday. Shit, Jake, I'm so sorry, I forgot. I've got my first shift on Saturday. It's fine, don't worry about it. Fuck, I feel bad now. Honestly, it's fine. I mean, you have them all the time, so you can always come the next one. I'd love to, just let me know so I can book it off work, yeah? Yeah. Where do you work? Well, we're actually in here now. You work here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like discount on pints then. If you're lucky. <laughs> oh, I wish you'd have told me you work here. I'd have took you somewhere else. <laughs> feel like a bit of a div, you know? Yeah, it's it's fine. I'm just checking the place out early. Yeah. I mean, you'll love it. I'll feel another sound and I'll make sure they look after you. Everyone seems really nice. I can't wait. Yeah. So, do you go out in the full match? I bet, yeah. Well, that's funny. Because I'm from around here, I just call Liverpool town. So it's mad then. Someone say, like, no, I don't Liverpool. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, is there any bookstores around here? 
No, we don't read up north. Funny. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there's one not just around the corner if you fancy it. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. So who's your favourite author then? Oh, probably Jack Kerouac. On the Rose? Yeah, I love that book. Yeah, I've read that one. I remember I used to go back and forward from London to Poland to see my dad and I just picked it up in the airport one day and loved it. Just, I don't know, kind of made me want to travel a lot, you know? Yeah, definitely. So, does your dad fella still live in Poland? And... Yeah, he moved back there after my mum split, so... Oh. Sorry to hear that. Um, no, don't be. It was ages ago, anyway. So, have you got any siblings? I feel like I'm just going on about myself way too much. No, it's all right. Yeah, I've got an older brother. Oh, so I've got an older sister. What's her name? Joanna. <laughs> Sorry, I've just cut you off about your brother. <laughs> okay, no, it's carry all right. on. Uh, yeah, I've got an older brother, Ian. He's just looking for his own place with his missus at the minute, so. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one. Favorite mm. film. Oh. Annie Hall. Nah. What? <laughs> that's like literally my favorite film. Shut up. Honestly, I've never met anyone who's even seen that film. It's so good, though. I mean, how cool is Diane Keaton? <laughs> yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> You know, the only other person I know who's seen that film is me, our fella. God, that's crazy. Yeah, it's mad. That was such a cute little store, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, the books were really interesting. He's got quite the collection. Yeah. He's like, be all right to go back to yours, just about a job. I guess all right. A what? <laughs> taxi. Why don't you just say taxi, <laughs> of course? Because it's a job, actually. What? <laughs> Actually, just let me check Crystal's not in there because she might be, you know... Naked? Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Clear. <laughs> just ignore the state of the room, yeah. It's fine. The room's proper nice. It's not, but thank you. <laughs> Do you want to watch a film, or...? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you haven't shown me any of your music. Yeah. Have you got a channel? Oh, well, yeah, but... Go on, let me just watch one. I don't know, they're a bit shit. Listen, I'm the harshest critic ever, so if it is shit, I will be sure to let you know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Just one song now, yeah? Yeah, deal. What's your channel called? Uh, J. Russell Music. Original? Hey. Is it that one? That one. Got earphones. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, was lovely that, lads. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, lads. Nice one, Mum. Oh, it's gorgeous, lads. Oh, I'm sorry, our Carl couldn't come in, love. He's gone out with his girlfriend today. Mm. Well, we're the official now, are they? Well, they say they're not, right? But she's been asking what size T-shirt he is, you know, for a birthday present, hasn't he? And did he tell her? Of course he did. He's not one to pass him a free gift, is he, eh? <laughs> hey, did you hear about a scholarship, boys? No, oh, yeah, it's good, that, isn't it? Good. It's fucking brilliant. Hey, we had nothing like that when we were kids, did we, AJ? No. Nope. Did you hear, Jay? He's going to play football in America. Uh, yeah, you want to get yourself out there, you know, start knocking on a few music producers' doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's meant to be going to a rave as well, isn't he? Yeah, in Croatia it is. He's using some of his student loan. Mm, yeah. You never thought about going on a, to a rave like you with your mates? No. Oh, I'm surprised, like. I thought you'd be into all that, you know, being into music and all. Yeah, it's not really my type of music. Ah, oh, well. All music's the same, though, really, isn't it? Yeah. How's Sarah? Oh, she's not well, you know, Auntie Jean. Oh, bless her. What about Kate? What? Kate, how's she? Well, yeah, <clears throat> split up. Oh, hey. Oh, she was a keeper there as well. Yeah, well... Hey, you should take a leaf out of our Callum's book. Yeah. Get yourself back out there, lad. Get another one, eh? Yeah. I suppose I go to a festival and get off me tits on drugs like he does as well, yeah? Hey. He doesn't take drugs, he only goes there for a drink. Drink of water so he doesn't rip his fucking jaw off. Oh, Jake! One for a ciggy. They don't take drugs in them festivals, do they, Ian? It's not coming. Take this passport. That's just one of those, will you, lad? What you did back there it was fucking boss, by the way. <laughs> Couldn't help it, Dad. They just do me head in sometimes. Oh, I know, I know. Ah, the insult this Kate phoned you before. Yeah. What's she say? She said she wants to meet up, wants to tell me something. Well, what do you reckon it is? I don't know. You know, uh, me and your ma broke up for a bit, you know. Yeah? Oh, God, yeah. It's well before you were born. Our Ian was only a baby back then. What happened? We were just kids, mate. We didn't know what we were doing. I think I was just scared, mostly, though. Scared of committing. You know, I was... I was 19, I thought... Fuck. This is it, you know? So we just ended things for a bit, you know? Saw other people and that, but whenever... Whenever I saw her, I, I always felt... Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Just talk to her, lad. Talk it through. I'm just scared of what she's going to say. Well, whatever she does say, you'll work it out. I'm sure of it. Don't be worrying. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. No worries. Well, come on, let's go in. I can't hear your Uncle Mark, so he must have fucked off. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Oh, Gavin told me the story before about his cousin in Ireland. What is it? So his cousin was going on dates with this lad, right? Well, you know, seeing him for a bit. And on the first date, he says, do you want to come back to man? She says, no. On the second date, they kiss. He says, do you want to come back to man? She says, no. It's going to get dark, isn't it? Nah, nah, nah. So listen, right? So she ends up kissing him, obviously, and gets this massive sore on her lip, right? Goes to doctors to get it checked out, and they say, the only way you can get a cut like that is through eating raw human flesh. Right? Turns out the busies are caught to the date house where they found three dead human oh, bodies. Oh, you said this wasn't going to get dark. <laughs> <laughs> Got something for you. What is it? Close your eyes. Four? Close your eyes. I can see you peeping. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Open them. Oh, no way. <laughs> Oh, that's boss. Do you like it? I love it. Thanks, babe. Johnny. It's fine. I'm on the pill. You know what I told you when I get anxious sometimes? Oh, it's been getting worse. You know, since leaving uni and that. You know, I can't talk to my mind and dad about it because when I go to the house, they just go on and on and on. And I feel like my mind's going at 100 miles an hour. But then when I come here with you, it, it just stops. I know what you mean. How you feel? I just get so nervous going back to Poland to see my dad. It's always ask about my mum, but it's always in the shit stone kind of way, you know. Just seem to break into it with drive. What are we going to do now? I don't know. I love you. I love you too. I've got an idea. It's gonna sound it's gonna sound a bit mad. What is it? Why don't we just rent the apartment? What? <laughs> Why don't we just rent this place? I'll pick up more hours at the pub and when I finish we can just stay here. <laughs> well what about your family? They're not gonna mind. <laughs> Let's fucking do it. Are we really gonna do this? <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I made the buses were running slow. It's it's fine. I've not been here myself. Do you want another drink? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. You look well. Thanks. So do you. I'm growing the hair and beard out then. 
been meaning to get it trimmed, just haven't found the time. But work and stuff. Where are you working? Just the bookies, blows. Oh, cool. How have you been? All right, yeah. Still with Marie and Zoe, so. And Zoe. She's still a. A bitch, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? How was London when you went? Yeah, it's not too bad. Mum and Joe are all right, so. Joe, well, okay now then, yeah? Yeah, she's, she's getting better. Good. Um. So I wanted to see you to tell you that I'm moving to Australia. Oh? Yeah, I got a placement offer at the Vibe, so... That's boss. Yeah, thanks. Where about in Australia? Melbourne. And then we go down to the offices in Sydney, so. When do you go? Tomorrow. <laughs> know, that's... soon, innit? Yeah. I only found out the other day I got it, so... How long's it for? A year. I might just stay so a bit longer. So it's not permanent, then? Um, no, but I might just stay for a bit. Fresh start on that. Fucking hell, Australia, Keith. That's amazing. Thanks. I bet Alfie was sad to see you go when you <laughs> told him. He was, yeah. Um, you've left some of your stuff at the flat, CDs and stuff. I don't know if you want to come get them now or... Yeah, if... It's just I didn't want to get rid of them in case you wanted them. Yeah, if, if that's all right, yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, won't be able to stay for too long, do I? I need to finish yeah. packing. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> shall we? Yeah. Hello. Hi, baby. Hi. How's work? It's all right. Ian and Zoe popped in for a visit. But he's always just lightened up the room, eh? Of course. What have you been doing today? Just writing some tunes. Have you looked online for any jobs? Yeah, uh, a few, yeah. Yep. Magazine came, Ooh, by the way. Thank you. It's meant to be a good one this month. Aren't they all just the same stories? <laughs> no, they've got different authors for different articles and each issue, it's... yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me and my mum's dad said they'd be down in about an hour or so. All right, OK. Jake, are you fucking kidding me? What? Look at the fucking state of the place. Oh, babes, oh, I forgot. I've been busy. Babe, you've been doing nothing all day. The least you can do is tidy up. What do you mean? I haven't been doing anything. I've been writing. And I bet you can write songs any time. You promised me you were going to clean up today. Yeah, I'll help you know. Thank you. It's all got good. Case. Oh, it's only from Butch in town. Yeah, I was looking at love. You should get us one of those, Lynn's. Anyone know if there's anything good on Sally tonight? I'm not sure, you know, lad. I think Jungle Book's on. Yeah. Oh, I love that film. And it was your favourite, wasn't it, love, when you were little? Yeah, it's Bosch. See, remember when you used to pretend to be Mowgli? Dad, don't. Oh, shut up, get in this cake, right? <laughs> He'd watch the film, right? And then he pretend to be Mowgli, right? Ended up in his boxes <laughs> and run around the streets on all fours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could he climb up the lamppost and everything? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to go for the ciggy anyway. I thought you were quitting. Yeah, so did I. Put myself in a day, didn't I? Mm -hmm. How long have you been quitting now, Case? Oh, um, is it nine weeks next week, I think? Oh, that's brilliant, that love. See, you want to take a page out of Kate's book? Quit while you're young, because when you used to have kids, you'll be out of breath running round after them, won't you? 
Fucking hell, man. I don't think I'm going to be having kids anytime soon, you know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I'm going for a smoke anyway, I'm gasping. Oh, all right, so I'll go with you, lad. Oh, come here, Dad. <sighs> Spaz is each other, aren't they? <laughs> Fucking pair of gobshites. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice that morning. I think they had a good time. Yep. Wanna watch film? If you want. Jungle Book, Gunny Hall. Whatever. What's up? Nothing. Kate, what's up? Mm, nothing. Okay, well, I'm too tired to play the guessing game tonight. Yep, because you've been so busy all day. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Oh, is that what this is over? The fucking dishes. Well, what then? You don't want to have kids with me. What? When your mum was talking about kids, you laughed and said, I don't think that'll be happening for us anytime soon. Anytime soon? Yeah. What are you saying? We're ready for kids now? Don't know what to fucking think, to be honest with the joke. Well, it's a pretty simple question, Kate. I don't know, yeah. Maybe I do want kids, but you clearly don't. Well, no, not really. Not right now, anyway. So you just don't want them with me? Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't think we're ready for a charge right now at this point in our relationship. Well, when are we going to be ready? <laughs> I don't know. How am I supposed to know when you're meant to be ready? I just... I feel like I'm the only one putting anything into this. <sighs> what do you mean? <laughs> I moved from London to be with you. <sighs> I only see my family once a year yeah, because I chose to be with you. And then when you say you don't want to have kids, it just makes me think that you just don't want to have so, them with so me. So I'm like this, like this burden that, that, oh, that's yeah. coming and infiltrated your life, like like this fucking curse yeah, doing me a favour. Okay? Don't put that go, shit on me. All about no, because it's not. Cause it's always the cake show all the time. Well, isn't maybe it? yeah, once in a while, yeah. Because I'm the only one around here who does fucking anything. The only one who goes to work and pays the bills while you sit on your ass all day writing songs that'll never go fucking anywhere. Pregnant, Kate. What? Are you pregnant? Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I'm late, but... How late? Six, seven weeks. <sighs> Six, seven weeks. Have you taken a test? No. Oh, why? Because I'm fucking scared. So when were you going to tell me? Hey, when you start again, a little bump? Would you just calm down, please? <sighs> Kate, I, I, I just can't deal with this right now. No. <laughs> Are you really going to walk away? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Big man. Go on, then. Fuck's sake. Um, am I all right to go and make a phone call just while we're quiet? Yeah, go on. Jake? 
Jake, hmm? how'd you cook bacon? What? How'd you cook bacon? What do you mean, how'd you cook bacon? I just fucking cook it or fry it. Yeah, but how'd you do it? I just put it in the pan. All right. You all right to do it for us? Yeah, just give me five minutes. Oh, nice one. Oh, hey, Kay phoned you before. She sounds a worried. I'll talk to her later. What happened? We just had an argument. Oh, well, it must have been a bad one for you to want to stay here. I don't want to talk about it, lad, all right? right. Well, um, listen, there's always going to be back in a bit, you know, so you might have to... I know, I know. Sounds well, um, I'll go and put the kettle on. Hi, yeah, it's Jay. I can't get to the phone right now, but if you leave me a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, it's me. Look, just answer the phone. Call me back, please. I'm just really worried about you. I'm just in work, but I'll be home by five. Come home, please. I love you. Ooh. Mm. <sighs> oh, fuck. No, how? Ah, yeah, it's Jake. I can't get to the phone, right? She's in a lot of pain. Yep. Kate, love, are them painkillers we gave you okay? Yeah. Okay, um, we've just got the test back from the ultrasound. I'm really sorry, darling, but it appears you've had a miscarriage. I'm really sorry. I know it's really hard to take it all in, but because there's still a large amount of tissue in your womb, we're gonna have to take you down to surgery to perform a dilation and extraction. We'll give you a general anaesthetic so she'll, you'll be unconscious during the procedure. And we'll have to keep you in overnight just to make sure your blood levels come back down. I'm really sorry, sweetheart. Is there anyone you'd like to call or you'd like us to call for you? No. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, okay. So have you got no friends you could ask? No, there's no one. I only say because you'll need to get picked up tomorrow and, and they can stay overnight as well. It's good to have someone there afterwards. Trust me, love, you might not think it now, but you will want someone there. Lindsay, it's me, Kate. Um, <clears throat> something's happened. I'm in the hospital. No, no, don't tell Jay. Can you come stay with me, please? Have you seen the place so empty? Yeah, the landlord wants everything stripped down for the new tenants to come tomorrow, so... It's weird, though, isn't it? Which? Just think, like, tomorrow this place is going to be empty and... <laughs> Ignore me. No, I know what you mean. I was just here for so long and... Uh, do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, yeah, if you make them one, sir. Yeah, sure, just pass me a cup out there, please. Um, so when's your gig again? Uh, Wednesday, I think. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, like. Don't you do great, babe. Thanks. Have you been writing any more emails to the vibe? Yeah, I've 
written a few more, but I haven't had anything back. Apparently they do placement opportunities abroad, but really hard to get on to. Well, you never know. <laughs> yeah. I can have these mugs are nice, aren't they? <laughs> I think they're cute. Oh, swimming in them. <laughs> How much are you uh, Two for five pounds, I think. Nice. Just gonna go and get ready. I've um, got a text. Oh, Kate, I can explain. Oh, you fucking better, Jake, or I swear to Kate, she's my ex, remember the psycho ex I was telling you about? Why the fuck is she texting you? What? Have you fucked what? her? No. No. Look, ever since we put our moving up pitch on Facebook, all she's done is send me shit like this. Then why haven't you blocked her? I don't know, Kate. Look, she's nuts, honestly. D don't ever think I'll go back to her, alright? Block her. Now. What? Block her now, I want to see okay, you do it. Okay, okay, okay. Done? Okay, come here. Okay, come on. Come here. Listen, don't ever think I'd do anything like that. Okay? You okay? Yeah, you. I don't know, just... I really doubted you today and it scared me. Still feel like that? No. Good night. Night. All right. Yeah, um, are you up to much later? Uh, no. It's just Chris and Lily from work have asked if we want to go and get drinks. No, I'm all right, you know. Seriously? What? You're just going to let me go on my own? They all work, mate. It's not exactly going to be awkward, is it? Well, it's a double date, so yes, it will be awkward if you don't go. Fine, I'll go. So expensive. Oh, yeah, I found it. Great. Do you want to carry a bag for it and the CDs? There's only a few I should manage. No, it's not a problem. I've got a spare carry bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
<clears throat> Thanks, so uh, I'll be off then. Okay. Unless you fancy sharing the guy plus this. Um, I, I don't know, maybe. My train's really early in the morning, so. I'll make it a small one. Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sure. No, honestly, it, it just boiled up with them in there today and I thought, fuck this. You know, I'm not sitting here for another minute listening to how great me cousin is when we all know he does more drugs than anyone. Good, I'm glad you said something. I mean, fucking Elder used to be so annoying. I mean, no offence, because it's your family, but... <laughs> not taken. You know, people like that, man, they, they talk about how fucking great the life is and try and make you feel like yours is shit. Yeah, but what's worse is they try and act innocent about it when they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, they're the worst. And these aren't so patronising as well. Yeah, but to everyone else, they just think they're trying to be nice. <laughs> That's what my mum says. <laughs> Mum's the same with shit like that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, at least Jim and him know where he's going to be next year. What do you mean? Well, you know. We're going to be in Australia waiting for the vibe. He's going to be in America playing sports. And and then there's me, I mean. You know, I'm probably just going to be giving all my money to Ian for the rent and... Yeah, but we don't know that for sure. And doesn't mean it's necessarily a good thing, you know? I could get to Australia and fucking hate it. What are the chances of that happening? I don't know. Um, when we're further away from my family and my friends and you... You know, it's... It's like I've got to start all over again. It's like a new life, you know? Yeah. You know, I just... I just thought I had it all planned with... Stuff and fuck, I don't even know what I'm saying here. I, th I think I know what you mean, but yeah. I'm just gonna go to it. Oh god, I haven't been to Spain in years. It was gorgeous, wasn't it? That was stunning. Mm. He has a room right by the ocean as well. Oh, that sounds amazing. Where are you going next? Well, we were thinking about driving around America, weren't we? Yeah, I think uh, start in Austin, you know, in Texas, and then we'll just go from there. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love to go there. Have you two been away recently? No, not really. Just saving up. Cost a bomb these days, you know? Yeah. So, how long have you spent together again? How long's it been now? Five years. Yeah, five years. Lovely. <laughs> So, uh, what do you do, Jay? I'm kind of unemployed at the minute, but I'm a musician, do gigs, that sort of stuff. Go. Cool. Just gonna go to the toilet. Wanna get some food? I thought you weren't hungry. No, I mean, do you want food? No, I don't want you to get any if you don't want any. What? I don't want you to get any if you're not gonna have any, because I just, I don't want you to feel like you've got to get something because of me. Kate, I don't even know what you're on about, girl. Mm, don't know a lot of things, do you? <sighs> and what's that meant to me? <laughs> oh, so that's why you're pissed off? Hey, because I don't know the exact time we've no, been together. No, it's because you've been acting like a spoiled brat the entire time. No, I haven't. Yes, you have, and you don't even know you're doing it. Well, I said I didn't want to go in the first place, so it's your fault for making me. I shouldn't have to make you. You should want to go. What the fuck? <sighs> Fucking concert tickets have been sent to me again. Where's the laptop? Over there. Um, where'd you say to be again? Down no further.
Well, what's the matter? Who's he? Jake. Who the fuck's he? He's... He's my ex from London. He he sent me them years ago. How long's years ago? I forgot to delete them. How long is years ago? What? Two years ago, three years ago. How fucking long ago did you send them, Kate? I don't know. It was, it was before I met you. How if they're recently downloaded? Do you still speak to him? No. Yeah, all right. Do you still speak to Anna? Nah, don't you dare fucking turn this around to me. I'm not the one with pictures of my ex on my fucking laptop. No, no, no. You've just got texts from yours asking to suck your fucking cock. Oh, here puck. we go. The fucking Kate show again. You jealous little cunt. What did you just fucking say to me? Hey. What are you going to do? You're going to fucking hit me. Like, is that what he used to go do, on, is it? Go on, I fucking dare hey, you. That's what them posh on, cunts do, on. isn't it? Really? Hey, is that what you do? Hey. No, when you're going to go oh, see your mum, when you go to London, eh? What you are you see on him, about? You fuck him. What are you because even for talking all I know, Katie could have been your fucking junk. dad. Kater. I'm going home. You are home? I'm going back to London, Jake, because I can't deal with this anymore. Case, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I just... just... Don't. Just don't touch me. So fucking selfish, you know. How? Because that was my baby too. And I had to find out through me fucking mother. You told me you didn't want kids. I was late. What was I supposed to do? How do you think I felt? Sound me like a decent person. <laughs> I told you I was pregnant. You fucked off to Ian's for two days. I called you. And you weren't there. Don't touch me. What's your name? You can call me Vera if you like. You live in Los Angeles? No. Where are you coming from? Oh, back there. Needles? No. Oh, sure. Phoenix. You look just like a Phoenix girl. Are the girls from Phoenix that bad? The girl must have been pretty tired because she fell asleep not 20 minutes after she stepped into the car. What are you doing out here? Who did I spoke lad? Hey, you're not thinking about her, are you? Don't let her ruin your night. I'm not, honestly. Well, come inside then. Have a fucking good time. Yeah. Oh, like, come on. I don't know. Oh, 
Ik toch weer bol. Hey, you know what's a combo is? Fucking Valentine's Day, innit? Tell me about it, lad. Ah, you're on a focus, like. I just have to spend money just to prove you're like, equal parts in relationships, you know, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, don't shut up and have a stay. No, I'm just saying, lad, like, you know, like, you fucking. You go on a first date, innit? Oh, that's right. You know, when you go on a first date, innit? And, like, that person that you meet then isn't gonna be the same person you meet five years down the line, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah? Are you just gonna stand there more? No, you're getting on it with us. Fuck, I'm always having a bit of a conversation, fuck me, man. <laughs>
Father's glory Round the fields of Aquilon Jake? What are you doing here? Zoe invited me. Of course she did. How have you been? Not all right, yeah. Is Kate not here with you? Nah. Well, thanks to you and them fucking texts you keep sending. Yeah, Jake, I'm really sorry about that. I was out of order. Um, I was just going through some bad stuff and... You been? Been good. How's the music going? My fucking music. What, did you not write anymore? I haven't written nothing in months. That's a shame. Because you're a great writer, you know. You think? Yeah. Yeah, well, Kate doesn't seem to think so. It's a nice one. Well, maybe she doesn't know you like I do. Cake, yeah, you're right. Hi, right. You're right. Right. I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Jake? Yeah, he's upstairs. You can come and get a baby with us. I love the vinegar. Likewise, he's <laughs> that far. I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm sorry, Jake. I didn't even know you and her were having a baby. Here's to die. Well, she didn't tell you. Jake, I'm sorry. Look, she was scared and... Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> you know, she's the only one I can nearly talk to about things and she's always been there. And now I'm scared I've lost her. Keep an eye on Jake. I think he's been doing Charlie in the box. Okay. I know he's Kate's fella, but if I see him doing that shit, he's getting fucking lost. All right, Alf, Alf, no worries. No worries, I'll back it. Want another one? Nah, I'm all right, you know, Chris. Come on. Listen. No, you can stay a man for as long as you want, you know that. Yeah, cheers, lad. Back in a minute. Just two more, please. That's 
Well, it's funny, mate. Fucking watch it, lad. All right, lad, I said I was sorry. And I said fucking watch it, soft lad. Who the fuck are you talking to? Fucking talking to you, lad. What? Ask you something. Hmm? Did you sleep with Anna at Ian's party? No. No, I just talked to her. About all, I can't talk to anyone else who understands me like you do. Is that why you went back to London for a bit? Just, I need to be with my family after everything as well. Do you ever think about what would have happened if we'd never got together? I've thought about it a bit lately, yeah. Do you think every couple goes through that? No. I think I was with you for that long then. Sorry. It's okay. You can still talk to me, you know? I know. It's just... I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Like, with anything. You're gonna be okay. <clears throat> I wish you strong, innit? <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, sometimes, and I don't mean this in a bad way, I wish I'd never met you. I know what you mean. If you could go back to the night we met and what you know now, would you still give me your letter? I don't know. Fuck. I wish I could have spoken earlier so I never met you. Maybe we were just too young, you know? Yeah. I think a lot of people our age are in love with the idea of being in love instead of the actual person. Do you feel like that with me? No. Or did you? Not for a second. Kate, I just... I just feel really guilty about the things I've done and the way I treated you. I'm so sorry. Do you ever think about what it would have been? Go, maybe. <sighs> I better get going, I haven't. I haven't got my keys to get into the inn, so. Okay. Well, listen. Good luck in Australia. I'm made up for you, honestly, I am.
Bye.
Thank you.